welcome to my vlog. By the way, I am Maria Griselda Alonso Sikaner. I hope you are all safe and sound at your home with all of blessings and hope. Today, I will introduce you about plant systematics. In this lecture, I will tell you what is plant systematics and how it plant important role to determine the evolution history of plant organism. So let's start with the definition of systematics. The term systematics is derived from the Latinized Greek word systema means together. It means the systematics is the Greek word systema which means to collect a different sources. Next, plant systematics, the science of botanical diversity. Botanical diversity means that it is a branch which means study of plants variations. Diversity are all about genetic regions that are present in a plant. Then, it is originally used to describe the system of classification prescribed by early biologists. It divides plants into taxonomic groups using morphological, anatomical, embryological, chromosomal, and chemical data. In this specimen of a systematics, the first step is taxonomy description. The second one is the classification arrangement. The third one is the nomenclature naming and the lastly morphology, terminology of a parts. Different scientists define systematics in their own way, like Linnaeus. He applied the word systematics in the system of classification in his famous book Systema Nature published in 1735. Another, Black Wilder and Boyden, 1952 give a definition that systematic is the entire field dealing with the kinds of organism, their distinction, classification, and evolution. Also, in 1961, G.G. Simpson considers that systematic is the scientific study of the kinds and diversity of organisms and of all relationships among them. The difference between systematic and taxonomy. In plant systematic, systematics is involved in the determination of evolutionary relationships of organism. While in plant taxonomy, taxonomy is involved in the classification and naming of organism. In plant systematic, it studies the relationship of organism. While in plant taxonomy, it is a branch of systematics. In plant systematic also, it tells us about classification, naming, and phylogenetic history. While in plant taxonomy, it tells us about classification and naming only. It tells us also about the evolutionary record of a species. While in plant taxonomy, no evolutionary record can be determined. Lastly, in plant systematic, it does not change with time. While in plant taxonomy, it changes with time or further, dot or further studies. The primary aim of a systematics. First, its primary goal is to reconstruct the evolutionary history of plant life. Second, describe all the species on earth. Third, systematics includes a much broader aspect that includes not only morphology and anatomy, but also genetics, molecular biology, behavioral aspects, and evolutionary biology. Lastly, discover all the branches of the tree of life. Document evolutionary changes occurring along those branches. The second aims of a systematics. First is to analyze and synthesize information into a classification that reflects evolutionary relationships. Second, to organize this information into a useful, retrieval form. And lastly, to gain insight into evolutionary processes that lead to a diversity. Evolutionary biology is the subfield of a biology that studies the evolutionary processes, natural selection, common descent, and speciation. 
that produce the diversity of life on earth. Genetics concerned with the study of genes, genetic variation, and heredity in organisms. Molecular biology deals with the structure and function of the macromolecules, like proteins and nucleic acids, essential to life. For some here in the systematics and how it used with other branches or the other fields of the science. In systematics, it deals with the public health and security agriculture, natural history collections, basic and applied research. It deals also with habitat loss, biological invasions, global climate change. It deals also with a human dimension and ecology and conservation. The importance of systematics and evolution. The first one, foundation of biology. It is a study of biodiversity. Second, basis for classification of life. Third, gives insight into biological processes. It includes speciation processes, adaptation of to environment, and lastly, can be aesthetically, intellectually pleasing. So here are some questions. Why is systematics important? Systematics is fundamental to our understanding of the world around us because it provides the basis for understanding the patterns of diversity on Earth. Systematics provide also the basis for communication about all living things. And lastly, understanding patterns of diversity provides us with a basis for testing hypotheses of evolutionary processes. Thank you for watching and see you on the next vlog.